Albert Einstein once said, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting different results. Oh, he said it, I lived it. Alcoholism is a disease that cannot be controlled without help. The only solution to the problem is what originally caused the problem, and that's alcohol. For me, I was stuck in that catch-22. For a long time, the only way I knew how to feel normal and accepted was by drinking. But drinking, it meant death. And without it, I felt like death. When I was young, I was outgoing, curious, had a loving family and friends. I'll never forget for Christmas when I received a Panasonic camcorder. And I'd make little home movies with my brothers and documentaries of all my friends. I'll never forget the looks on their face when they watched this artwork I made. It was when I found out that I had a passion. And that passion was to tell stories. I always wanted to be an author or a director. It was in my early 20s that my views on life had changed and all I wanted to do was hide. I thought waking up and living was going to be the death of me. I didn't know how to feel comfortable in my own skin unless I was numb. And the only way I knew how to get numb was through drugs and alcohol. I got stuck in a vicious cycle where if I didn't drink, I was crazier when I was sober. If I didn't drink, I couldn't stop shaking. If I didn't drink, I might do something I couldn't go back on. It wasn't long before I lost my license, my job, my friends, my faith, and my sanity. When all was enough, and I thought life was pretty much hopeless, I was introduced to a 12-acre island where I met Father Tom and was invited to live in a sober community, which transformed the man I am today. That was on December 7th of 2008. When I was sticking in, I was given AA literature, taken to AA meetings, and met true friends. I was surrounded in a community full of love and support. All I had to do was the work. I got a sponsor, I worked the steps, I learned how to live one day at a time. I also got my spiritual life back, something I haven't had for a long time. Every day I'm learning how to turn my will over to God so I can be a happy, healthy, and sober man. Because it was through God, Ender's Island, my family and friends, has been my inspiration for my recovery. They helped me find my way out when I was lost. They took me in when I had nowhere to go. And they helped me live a life I never thought was possible. Now, I'm a full-time employee, a college student who gets straight A's who barely passed high school. I love to read mystery novels and write my short stories. I can even enjoy the small things in life, like getting a cup of coffee with Father Frank, or playing pool with the guys. The best part is I'm able to be myself and feel like I belong, and to be able to enjoy the moment at the moment. Because for so long, this was a foreign concept I never knew of. And as scripture tells us, to those whom, to whom much is given, much is expected, I'm able to help others now find recovery and find the joy in life that I found. I'm also able to help just people I meet in my daily life and be a good resource for my community. I owe my life, my dreams, and my future to the sober community at St. Edmund's Retreat. And I'd like to thank Father Tom and the entire staff. Thank you, enjoy your meal.